This video is going to cover how to download pricing. After you've gone into the catalog rack and you've set up your brands and your sell price, go to download pricing and this page will come up. Now the purpose of this page is really twofold. Once you've set your pricing, if you want to view all of the pricing by part numbers, this is an easy way to get an Excel form out. So you can kind of scan down through each part number, each part category. Make sure that you have your margins set correctly, your cost is setting correctly based on your percentages. It's just a good way to um, give yourself a cheat sheet to view everything at once. The second role of this would be after you've downloaded that Excel file, you have an, have an option of uploading static pricing, which means you've taken the Excel file, you've changed your pricing within that file, and you want to use that as your master pricing. Well, there's, there's a way to upload that pricing as well. Now, upload pricing will actually be covered in the upload pricing video, which you'll find close by this one and under the tab upload pricing. But for now, we're going to focus on downloading pricing. So currently, we're on the download pricing page. Again, it's driven by brand. So let's use as example Excel for this. Once you've chosen the brand, you click on create download file. Once it creates it, it will show, click here to download the file. Click on that, push open. I have two screens here, so it's showing up on the other screen, but this is, this is what you get. It actually downloads in a zip file. So you want to take that, coming up as a text file, drop that onto your desktop, and then go to Excel, because it's you can't read it really in, in text, you want to open it in Excel. So you're going to open, now because it's a text file, you want to choose all files. There it is, Excel, open. There are instructions on this. Uh, if you need to receive them, you can email uh, eStore support at dcinet.com. We'd, we'd be happy to send them to you. But the first step is, once this opens, you want to choose delimited, then next. You want to choose other, push the shift key, and then there's a slash key right above your enter button on the right side. Just click that, then hit next. And you want to choose text because under some brands, their part numbers start with a letter. So this is important. Choose text. You want to highlight under the part number box and then hit finish. And that'll drop everything quickly into an Excel for you. Now what this does, once you expand these columns out a little bit, you'll be able to see by part number the job or price, which that's that's a static in our data that doesn't change unless the manufacturer changes the job or price. So that's the job or price that's established by the manufacturer. Calculated cost, that's going to be driven off the percentage that you put in, in your when you set your sell pricing of your cost off jobber. And then calculated sell, that's going to be your margin over and above your cost. And that's how you download pricing.